Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Well, hi everybody. Matt Hinkle here from Faith Baptist Church, and this is Your Daily Dose. Daily Dose is a daily devotional ministry of the Faith Baptist Church, and uh, I always enjoy getting to do these and it's always a blessing and a privilege and it means a lot that you would take a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with us and so I don't take that for granted so thank you for joining us today well today I want to speak to you out of John chapter 11 John chapter number 11 you know we just had Easter uh, not too long ago and uh, just this past Sunday and so our thoughts are on the resurrection of Christ. That's kind of where our thoughts are at right now. And uh, I thought I would kind of expound a little bit more on that before, uh, you know, today. And so John chapter 11. Now you may, re- you may recognize John chapter 11 as the chapter where Jesus uh, resurrected Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus was a believer. He was a follower of Christ and he died and uh, he was he was called to the situation Jesus was called to the situation by Mary and Martha uh, Lazarus sisters and you know the story that Jesus did not get there before Lazarus died now Jesus intentionally was late Uh, uh, in fact he was intentionally four days late and Lazarus was dead and already entombed in the tomb when Jesus arrived and and they, they, they said to, to the Lord, they said, if you would have just been here, if you'd have just been here, you could have healed him and prevented him from dying. Uh, but because you weren't here, uh, our brother is dead. And, uh, you know, those of you that know the story know that, that Jesus uh, called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead. But I want to I share with you a couple of verses uh, in John 11 verses 25 and 26 John 11 25 and 26 in verse number 25 Jesus said unto her I am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die believest thou this um, Those are two tremendous verses. It's one of the great I am statements that Jesus made in the Gospel of John. He made several I am statements in the Gospel of John. Uh, He he said, I am the door. He said in John, I am the good shepherd. Uh, He said in John, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Uh, Life, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. And here in this verse, verse number 25, Jesus made the statement, I am the resurrection and the life. Now, I want to break these two verses down and just point out a couple of things uh, in today's devotion. It'll be a very simple uh, devotion and and simple to to follow, but but it's though it's simple to hear, it's profound in what Jesus was saying. First of all, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. I read last week as I was reading some things in preparation for Easter somebody made the the observation that resurrection is not what Jesus did but it's who Jesus is Um, he he is the source of all life he is the he is the origination of all life and so resurrection isn't just something that Jesus can do it's the very nature of his person Uh, Jesus is both God and man he's fully man And that's why he was able to die. Had he not become man and become flesh, he would have not been able to die. Um, So he's fully man in every way except for sin, but he's fully God. And because he's fully God, he was able to uh, leave the tomb. He was able to rise from the dead. And uh, so here in verse number 25, he says, I am the resurrection and the life. Friend, Jesus is alive today because that's who He is. He he is 
the personification of life. He's the personification of resurrection. That's, that's the person of Christ. Now, in addition to that, it says, He that believeth in me, and then at the end of verse number 26, the question is asked, Believest thou this? And so what is our response? What is my response supposed to be to the nature of Christ and the person of Christ being the resurrection and the life? Well, my response is supposed to be faith. My response is supposed to be putting my faith, putting my trust in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ um, for everything, for everything, for eternity, for my salvation, and even for my daily life, my, you know, the daily, day-to-day -day things that I need, He is all-sufficient for everything. Listen, if, if Jesus can rise from the dead, what is He not able to do? That's the question I would ask you. Sometimes we get overwhelmed by life, we get overwhelmed by problems, we get overwhelmed by circumstances, and we can allow our minds to be worried and occupied with those things and it can really get us in a bad way. But, you know, if Christ was able to overcome the chief obstacle, which is sin, the grave, and, and death, what's He not able to handle? I promise you today, if Jesus could rise from the dead, He can, he can help you with your finances. He can help you find a job. He can help you with your family. Um, he, can, he can help you with your health and your medical situations. I mean, look, there's no area of life that we can't trust our Lord with because He's overcome the greatest problem we have, which is sin in the grave, and He defeated that. And so, and what He asks us to do is to believe on Him. Believe on Him. He says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me. Then the great promise is made. Though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Now, now one Bible student that I, I read about uh, said that what this is in reference to is two types of believers. There are some believers, some saints, will not live to the coming of the Lord, and they will go to heaven by way of the grave. They're gonna, they'll, they'll die. Uh, they'll die of old age, or they'll die of an accident, or they'll die of some disease, but they won't live to the coming of the Lord, and they'll die. And, and yet, even though they, they, they die, they experience physical death, they shall live. Even though they experience physical death because they were a believer, they, they will live. Then, in verse number 26, he says, And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Um, now, that's just true even apart from the rapture. Look, the child of God will, will never die. Even if they die in the physical sense, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. But this Bible student that I read about, he, he said verse 25 is in reference to those who, who go to heaven by way of the grave. And verse 26 is in reference to that generation of saints that live to the rapture. And they will, they will, like Enoch or like Elijah, they will not go into the Lord's presence by way of the grave, but they'll be, they'll be raptured out. They'll be translated out. And they will never taste physical death. But friend, the, whether, whether that's in reference to the rapture or not, I think it could be. Uh, it's my opinion that that's a very strong possibility what Jesus was alluding to here in verse number 26. But even if we're not correct in that and he wasn't alluding to the rapture, the fact still remains the child of God doesn't have to fear death. We don't have to fear death and we will live forever because Christ has overcome death and the grave. Not because resurrection is just something that he does, but it's who he is. I am the resurrection and the life. Well, take that with you today. I hope that it can be an encouragement and a blessing to you and a help in some way. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us on The Daily Dose. We're going to pray, uh, and then we'll be done. Let's pray. Lord, we love you today, and we thank you for the Word of God. We thank you for the promises 
uh, that Jesus has overcome the grave. Thank you that he is the resurrection and the life, and we can trust in him uh, for the hope of heaven. Lord, we thank you for that blessed hope. I pray that we would live and walk in light of it, and we'll thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website, fitinatfaith.com, for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.